Hey everybody, it's Tirza. Um, in case anyone's new here, which I sincerely doubt, I'm just going to do my little quick recap. So again, my name is Tirza. I'm from Philadelphia. Uh, I had vertical sleeve gastrectomy back in 2012, so nine years ago. Um, so in January 2012, uh, that's the date of my surgery, I weighed 294 pounds. At my surgery consult, at my highest recorded weight, I was 330 pounds. By November, 2012 I weighed 165 pounds and I never maintained a thing and I've been up and down up and down over the years including gaining back up to as high as 304.6 which I was July 1st 2018 and I went on a ketogenic diet and on July 1st 2019 I was down to 155.6 so I lost 149 pounds now my dog is going to start making lots of noise then with all the chaos and everything that was going on you know easy to make excuses i got back up to about 245 pounds um so i've been working on that uh i had gotten then down like when the pandemic first started to be a thing i was back down to like 213 and then i gained again back up to 240. i've ha been having like the spine pain and the shoulder pain and all this crapola and actually, it just seems to be one thing after another. So heart monitors. Uh, I already had plantar fasciitis and heel spurs, which have never gone away for years. And my feet are always in pain. I have osteoarthritis in my knees. I cannot bend hardly at all. They hurt all the time. I do PT exercises to them. To them. I do physical therapy exercises to try to help with the knees. So I don't have actually as much pain as I used to. Um, still can't really bend and do a whole lot of crap. But... A lot 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 less pain um, like I'm sitting here right now um, with my legs crossed um, which I would have never been able to do before anyway I can't remember the weight I was the last time I got to you guys but my last official Tuesday weight was three weeks ago and that was the week I had my little minor surgery on my neck um, so that was three weeks ago on Tuesday I weighed 181.2 and then I got back to you guys and let you know that I went a little cray cray again. And I didn't go off of keto per se, but I was doing like a very lazy, dirty keto. And I guess for me, what not really paying attention to clean eating probably still sparked inflammation. Um, so I did an egg fast. I did a couple days back on regular keto and I did a bone and beef and butter for two days. And I am now down to 178.6, which is what? I don't even know because I can't add. 2.6 pounds essentially in three weeks if you take away what I gained in between. Um, so now, here I, I I just got started doing my exercises again um, because I was okay to do exercise after two weeks. So of course, um, this Thursday will be three weeks. So I did start exercising again and then of course, I have massive pain in my right Achilles tendon. It makes like popping noises. I mean, I don't know if people can hear it or if it's just the sensation I'm feeling. So I feel like it's making a sound. I don't know, but it hurts really, really bad. And I'm a little disappointed because I only just started picking up exercise again to have to stop for whatever this is, but I don't want my Achilles tendon to also snap. That would be a disaster. I bought some, it was a KT tape or something like that today. I'm gonna try to use that tomorrow and see if it helps and if I'm able to do exercise because I'm not doing anything super hardcore. I'm actually shocked that the exercises that I'm doing would even um, create me having any kind of tendonitis or anything like that in my Achilles. So I don't know, but I just wanted to make this short and sweet. So sorry, I'm rambling. Just wanted to let you know, I am down 2.6 pounds. Um, the egg fast and those couple days of beef and butter really helped me get back to where I was. And also some of that like sw swelling in my stomach. Like, I mean, I have a stomach, but the swelling that I had, that's gone down significantly. Um, I think I look almost exactly the same as I did before going into surgery. So um, we're moving back on the right track. Um, and I am still going to go, I think, for the 150, 155 range, even though I do believe that that's way too small on me. Um, because when I did go in for the next surgery, I forgot to tell you guys that. 
Um, my husband and I are actually losing our insurance at the end of this month, unfortunately. Um, I'm lucky we had it this long because he's been out of work since March 19th of last year. So the fact that we had the insurance as long as we did was a really a blessing. Um, but now we're not going to have it as of the 31st. However, when the surgeon came for the neck, uh, he was talking to me about the physician's assistant that we, that I saw in the office that, um, helped me schedule the appointment and everything for the surgery. And I had told him, I told her about my loose skin on my stomach, made a joke about how I wish I was seeing the plastic surgeon, not for a lipoma, but for my loose skin. And he did the same exact thing she did. Do you mind if I look at your stomach? Like I'm about to go into surgery. <laughs> sure. Why not? You know? So, um, he looked at my stomach and said I was absolutely a perfect candidate for skin removal surgery. Like, he almost, like, geeked out. Like, he couldn't wait to do my surgery. Um, so basically what he said is, with my insurance, which I'm not going to have anymore, um, if I show that I have rashes for three months and get it, um, what do you call it? Oh, my God. I hate when I can't think. I don't know. If I, like, get it recorded for three months that I went to the doctor and they notated rashes, that my insurance will most likely cover the skin removal portion of it. It wouldn't cover any cosmetic or tight pulling or muscle repairs or anything like that. Um, not saying that I need any of that, I'm not sure. But he basically said, get that covered. And if you want the good cosmetic whatever, save a couple thousand dollars, have the insurance pay what they're gonna pay, and then you pay for the extra for like what you're looking for. So I'm in the process of that because that will save me like half the price of a surgery in the States for a tummy tuck. So I'm really looking in, into that. Um, hopefully within the next six years, six years, God forbid, six months to 18 months, I can have our insurance back and have the money saved and get this done. So prayers up, positive vibes, whatever you do. Send them my way. Because <laughs> I'm getting too old for this. I'll be 41 next month. And, you know, I would like to get it done in this lifetime because it's the only one we have. So, anyway, I'm rambling and being crazy again. Until next time, guys. Bye.